I went to Fiji for the International Journalism Project. I met the former CEO of the controversial Media Industry Development Authority, Matthew Kula. We talked about the dreaded Media Industry Development Decree in Fiji. The rules of engagement are more clear now uh, and there shouldn't be uh, a lot of fuss in, in that. Uh, now the media understands uh, their role, what's coming out of uh, the elections, uh, the supervisor of elections and what they can and cannot do. So uh, previously it was kind of a last minute uh, uh, thing that we, we did, uh, you know, trying to come up with uh, uh, the rules of engagement. But now it's it's been there. Uh, I guess uh, uh, the media has also been updated by the supervisor of elections and how things will uh, work out uh, in regards to uh, work uh, for the media. I guess it's, it's kind of been um, kind of taking a rest, so to speak, you know, I thought it could be uh, uh, more active uh, and uh, as we head into the elections, there's a whole lot that uh, MIDA uh, could do, um, you know, building up to the elections this year compared to what we did uh, back in 2014. We've come in leaps and bounds and hopefully things could uh, continue to improve because the focus uh, we have to be on the development of media you know, yeah. and so that it's progressive and, and positive moving forward. Things have changed. The media landscape in Fiji has changed as well. Now the Media Authority uh, Act is, is there uh, to help enhance and, and progress the media. You know, so looking at uh, development, looking at training, uh, more engagements, uh, more specialised training for, for media personnel as well. So we really haven't tapped into that. Uh, MIDA hasn't taken anyone to task in the last uh, four years or even the years that it was uh, established. You know, we, we dealt with issues uh, case by case, uh, how we could uh, uh, work things out. So, so far, so good. Um, there hasn't been anyone taken to task through the media decree. Landscape has changed. Most of the journalists that we have nowadays uh, were not there when uh, from the first military coup. You know, some of us have been here in all those schools and we've seen how things have changed and we believe that it can get better moving forward. So uh, there needs to be a lot of uh, training, uh, upskilling uh, being done. So if the media understands their code of ethics well, they shouldn't have any problems, uh, you know, progressing whatever reports or, or, or articles that they have because uh, you know, you're playing within your own code of ethics. So we're looking, hoping that, you know, it's self-regulation rather than uh, 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 laws coming down to restrict the media from doing its work. We've lost a whole lot of, of uh, experienced journalists, so to speak. And, and those who are experienced are not in the forefront of, of the journalism um, uh, trade at the moment. You know, and uh, that's why I say we've, uh, from 2009, probably there's majority of them who came into the media industry when there was the uh, regulations in 2009. But before that, you know, uh, that's why I'm saying there needs to be a lot of training um, uh, being undertaken, um, you know, and we were hoping that the Fijian Media Association will, will stand up and do its work as well. There's, an association that's sitting there and hoping that it could put its head together and, and discuss, you know, the progression uh, for the media industry in the country. There was a discussion about the Draconian Media Industry Development Decree. This is Sri Krishnamurti for Asia Pacific Report.